Chapter 6. Is what is in the book. Faith is a small step of obedience. Yes, you can read it after church. Faith is what? A small step of obedience. Isaiah 29 and verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom shall he make to understand? From them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept shall be upon precept. Line upon a line. Here a little and there a little. Are you a man of faith? Do not say that it's impossible to walk by faith. God has made it possible for you to walk by faith by creating a walk that involves many little steps. Faith is not the obeying of one huge, near impossible jump. No. Faith is rather the obedience of one small step. Think of all the heroes of faith God used. Most of them took one small step. His commandments are quite possible for you to obey because they always have one step at a time. Small step. In 1 John chapter 5 and verse 2, it says, By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. You see, his commandments is not something, you know, huge. Yes. Before God told Abraham to kill Isaac, he had told him to leave his father and his mother and told him to leave his country and told him to believe that one day his descendants will, have, uh, will come out of Egypt and that he would have this and that. Different things. All of it. Isaac was the last. After that, it was marriage and her children throughout. Isaac was the last big one. So those who are things of God will say, go to the uh, whatever field. You are in Birmingham. You are in Accra. You can't witness next door. You can't even organize some few people. And you say, God has sent you. You will be there on, on a mission to El Salvador. Do you, do you know what is in El Salvador? Do you know what is in Honduras? They are declared the most dangerous countries in the whole world. Huh? Start right in Dansoman or wherever you are. Sampaman. You can't start online. Online where you can't start was center. Was center that does not involve movement. His commandments are not grievous. His commandments are something small. That's what I've noticed over the years. God hasn't told me like big things that I can't do. Usually there's something to do that takes me to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. To the next. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, what did Rahab do to be called a hero of faith? Huh? Huh? Rahab the harlot gave her house to visitors. She provided the services of a harlot to Israeli spies. One at a time, there were 12 spies. This was something she was used to doing. Maybe for you it would have been a very big step. Yeah. But for her, she was there to service clients. When new clients came, she said, no problem. If you've ever seen prostitute, whatever, they kill. Sometimes they sit, you see the door here, they, they sit in a row like that. They're all waiting. Different men. Big stomach, small stomach, this, beards, without beards, whatever. They sit in rows with a chair. There are chairs, like a clinic, people going to a clinic. You see them all sitting there waiting. And they go next, and they have a time that you know, if you pay this amount, you, you can only stay a certain amount of time. No matter what you are doing, you must finish within this time and, and go out. Then they clean, then the next person. You've not seen it before? You've not been to prostitute before? I hope not. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> the only difference for Rahab was instead of Jericho guys, it was Israeli guys. So the step was not very big. It almost
was in line with your work. And when they were going refreshed in the morning, she said, remember me. Remember me. I gave you everything. Food, this, I kept you. You know, one day I watched a film. <laughs> and the lady in the film, she was like a star. She came to marry her husband. When she arrived, her husband was killed the day before she arrived. So it was a tragedy as she arrived. Hey, and the music they play in the film, it was something. So nobody knew who she was. She was coming with a train. And she came to the house. When she came to the house, the whole house was for her because she was the wife. Everybody has been killed. Now, later in the film, a man came there. When he saw, he said, hey, you are here. Everybody in Louisiana is missing you. They, they know her. She said, everybody has been asking of you. Because she was a prostitute from Louisiana. Every yeah. man in Louisiana knows her. She cares for her. And they, when, when she left, the whole thing changed. <laughs> They were not happy. Yes. <laughs> the city was affected. Kamashakaya. <laughs> Are you listening to me? It's the oldest trade. Yes. He said, How are you? They are all missing you over there. I think it was Louisiana. Yeah. Louisiana. She they miss you there. So this pie. The guys remembered her. She told them, remember me? I helped you. I loved you. I cared for you. I kept you overnight. You were okay. Huh? I serviced you. <laughs> you don't want to think about that part. Yeah, you, you, holier than thou. Holier than thou. Huh? Airbnb. <laughs> Amen? Wow. What did Abraham have to do to be included in the heroes of faith? He had to have sex with his old wife. A small step. Not so big. What did Moses have to do to become a man of faith? Throw a stick on the ground. I'm sure he has thrown down many sticks before. <laughs> this time he was to do something like that, but this time with faith. Your, your instruction from God, remember, amen, is always a small step of faith. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? And it goes on and on and on and on. Many, many things.